So we're in our series on the Black-Scholes model and we need to understand some basic stuff. I've talked about math stuff, now I'm talking about basic finance definitions. And we need to talk about how to price a claim. So how to understand what a certain claim or asset is worth. And I have a simple example here. Let's say we have an asset and today we buy this asset and it gives us 15 euros tomorrow with a probability of 86.5% and it gives us 5 euros tomorrow with a probability of 13.5%. The question is, what is the asset worth today? What would I pay for it? And there are two approaches in finance on how to tackle this question. The first approach is the risky pricing approach. And this approach tells us that the price of this asset is given by the expected value of the payoffs divided by one plus the risky discount rate. This risky discount rate basically reflects how risky an asset is. So in other words, if we have an asset that pays that pays 15 euros with 50% probability and five euros with 50% percent probability, then this will have less of a discount rate than an asset that pays 20 euros with 50 percent probability and zero euros with 50 percent probability, right? Because this asset here is more risky, it will have a higher discount rate than this asset asset because this asset here moves around more right the distance from 0 to 20 euros is 20 euros so and the distance from 5 euros to 15 euros is only 10 euros okay but if you want me to get more into this discount rate there's actually a lot to it leave me a comment i'll make a separate video so let's try to price our asset using this formula so the expected value of our payoffs is 86.5 percent times 15 euros plus 13.5% times 5 euros and our risky discount rate is taken as 0 0.5. And this was, and, and with this formula, we get a result of 9.1 euros. So that's the price of our claim via the approach of risky pricing. The second approach to pricing is called risk neutral pricing. And here we make a little mathematical trick. So we know now that our asset is worth 9.1 euros, right? And we want to obtain this price by not using the risky discount rate, but by using the risk free rate. The risk free rate is the rate that you basically get when you lend money to the government. And what we now use in our nominator is a so-called risk neutral expectation of the payoffs. What does this risk neutral expectation mean? So we have our price, 9.1 euros, and we take risk neutral probabilities, which I call here pi star one, and our other risk neutral probability, which I call here pi star two, and we divide it with one plus the risk-free rate. So I know that the risk-free rate is 10%. So in our denominator, we have one plus 1 1.10. And as our risk-free probabilities need to add up to one, we know we can actually derive what they have to be. So in our example, we have 15 euros times pi star one plus five euros plus times one minus pi star one because our probabilities, they are probabilities, they need to add up to one. And with this, we will get that pi star one is 50% and pi star two is also equal to 50%, right? So let's wrap up. What have we learned? So if we want to price an asset, we can basically take two approaches. We can take approach number one. We can take the true expected value of the payoffs divided by one plus the risky discount rate. Or we can take approach number two, where we say the price of an asset is equal to the risk neutral expected value of the payoff divided by one plus 
the risk-free rate. And in this risk-neutral expectation, we have weird mathematically different probabilities. So probabilities that are different from the real world, right? And the thing is that both of those approaches give the same result, right? We change the risky discount rate and we change the probabilities, but they give the same price. So whenever we want to price an asset, we use the approach that is more suitable for a setting. And in the Black-Scholes model derivation, we will actually use the risk neutral approach to pricing.